Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to another song review and welcome to a Too Tempted to Wait Thursday. I have no idea when you're going to see this because I just recorded a video for Jeremy by Pearl Jam, the MTV Unplugged version. I will link that here. But in that video, I promised you that I would space out the Pearl Jam videos to not overwhelm anybody. But I saw that Eddie Vedder did a song with Post Malone. And in that video I just did, the one I linked up here, I talked about Post Malone being one of my favorite artists and that I see similarities in Eddie Vedder's voice with the vibrato. I, I think that's the right term. And that's really what drew me to Post Malone's music. And I don't hear it as consistently with Eddie Vedder's voice, but just sometimes with how he says like the end of certain verses or just certain words, I can hear that and I really like it. <laughs> so I saw that him and Post Malone did a song together, Better Man, but I don't know Better Man by Pearl Jam. So I figured I should probably listen to that first. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to listen to Pearl Jam, Better Man, live from Madison Square Garden. That's the one I picked just because it's an actual video so I could watch it instead of just like lyrics. And then I'm gonna watch the one with him and Post Malone. So I'll leave timestamps below in case you wanna skip one or the other, but I like these double feature videos and I feel like I can't listen to the one with Post Malone without listening to just Pearl Jam. So, okay, I talk too much. Here we go, Pearl Jam version of Better Man. Let's pop our headphones on, turn it up, and here we go. thousand ten. Okay, so still wow, still fourteen years ago. Waiting what Maybe this wasn't the best one to pick to hear it from them, though. That's amazing, though. I love, I love crowd involvement, but for the purpose of this video, I hope he starts singing soon. <laughs> but imagine writing a song and just having like thousands of people singing it back to you. That's amazing. This is gonna be a slower song. She dreams in color, she dreams in red. Look how the audience started it out.
More similar to the 90s than in the one that I did for Yellow Lens Better. I can't remember what year that was. weren't jumping around and bopping around before that part, the runaway part, they definitely were then. I think they showed the crowd at a different point because I saw people singing along and there, there was no singing happening right there. That guitaring though. <laughs> and then jump. Man, that was good. I, like I said, I wasn't sure what to expect. I never... I never heard it before, obviously. I just thought it was going to be slower with how the crowd started out, singing it kind of slower, but then it really kicks in. So that was good. Okay. Usually I talk and analyze songs, but I want to get to Post Malone doing this as well. I'm just very excited to see him with Eddie Vedder and just hear their voices together. So... Okay, I'm going to search for that real quick. So if you happen to be popping in for the Post Malone Eddie Vedder, Better Man portion of this video, pop your headphones on, turn them up, and here we go. And I'd like to dedicate to his brother. Andy Vedder looks different in every video I watch of him, really. Waiting, watching the clock, it's four hour o'clock, it's got to stop. Tell him, take no more. She practices her speech as he opens the door. She rolls over, pretends to sleep as he looks her over.
interesting too with the contrast. That I thought the other one was gonna be slow. Or this is actually an acoustic and slower. Talking to herself, there's no one else who needs to know she tells us this. That must be too, like, I'm assuming Post Malone had to be influenced by his vocals. I don't know, but I'm thinking. And then to perform together? <laughs> that was cool that's great okay um i like that they did the little transition into better now and post malone i was like this sounds familiar it took me a second if i'm being honest but um yeah it's interesting however listening to two live versions of it i Maybe I should have listened to the actual album version first. But I like live performances. I'm assuming that the first one was actually like the right speed of the song, that it kind of does start off slow and then kicks in. I would assume. I think this was just an acoustic show and that's why it was slower. You guys can let me know if I messed up with this this double feature. But yeah, let me look into the meaning behind the song really quick because I wasn't really understanding. It's like she dreams in color, can't find a better man. I don't know what, I don't, I don't know. Let me, let me look it up quick. So on songfacts.com, it says Eddie Vedder wrote Better Man before joining Pearl Jam while he was still in his teens. He performed it with his previous band, a San Diego bass group called Bad Radio. 
The song is about a woman who settles for the man she has because she doesn't think she could do any better. Better had his stepfather in mind when he wrote it. After Eddie's biological father died, his mother remarried, and Eddie thought she did it only because she needed someone to help support the family. Huh. At some concerts, Better has dedicated this to the bastard who married my mother. Are they still together? That's what I need to know. Or what's that situation? It was a very personal song for Eddie and one of the first songs he'd written. He didn't want to hear that it was a big smash hit. Better Man was nearly pulled from the album at the last minute when Eddie Better got cold feet. The song was already recorded and mastered, but Eddie decided the first chorus was too elated, sending the wrong message. Brendan O'Brien talked him into redoing the first verse and chorus, which is Eddie's voice and guitar and Brendan's organ. Eddie was happy with their new recording, but splicing it into the master was a challenge for engineer Nick Dadaya, who became an unsung hero when he pulled it off, making it sound seamless. Interesting. And in the comments, somebody said, can't believe Eddie Better wrote this song as a teenager. Yeah, really. I kind of thought that, actually. Let me see. What what are the lyrics exactly? It was on the video, but, you know, I try to pay attention to everything, so I have to go back and refresh my brain. As he opens the door, she rolls over, pretends to sleep as he looks her over. She lies and says she's in love with him, can't find a better man. She dreams in color, she dreams in red, can't find a better man. That's what I was kind of thinking. I'm like, okay, is this, like, sarcasm? She can't find a better man? Yeah, that makes sense. Just being stuck in in a relationship. Memories back when she was bold and strong and waiting for the world to come along. Huh. I like that. I like the lyrics. I like the meaning. Unfortunate that he had to go through that, that <laughs> that this song came to be because of that reason with his own like personal, you know, his mom and stepdad, I guess. But it's a good song. <laughs> But you guys can let me know what you thought of this one. I, as big of a Post Malone fan as I am, I did like the Pearl Jam version better. But I feel like a lot of people are going to say that. But let me know if you're a Post Malone fan too. Let me know if you see the similarities in their voices like I do. Again, not over the top similar, but just a little bit here and there. I think so anyway. I will end this one here. Be sure to vote in the poll for this week. Like I said, I'm recording ahead of time, so I don't know what's in the poll right now, but vote in it. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.